here we have have the complete completely disassembled parts. Uh, so as you can see, we have quite quite a lot quite some some parts. Uh, so I think it will be quite interesting to to assemble it. Yes, it will. It will. And some of the parts will still do some final touch up on the on the surface as example for this one just to get it get it perfect but i think that's that's something that we'll do maybe when in the assembly mm -hmm. but uh, all in all good really nice to have the, the clean parts yeah i think these will be replaced yes yes so these are the these two are the ones for the lead screw that you can see behind the BS there. This one. Uh, so those will be replaced. And then this one was the for the, the Y axis. So this is the lead screw for that. Yep. And uh, the lead screw, we, we have, might have a surprise later on. Yeah. So hopefully that will, that will work out. And uh, all the gears look good. The bearings we will repla replace. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so the bearings for the, the lead screws, uh, and then of course we have new bearings for this uh, gearbox that goes on the, the milling head itself. And the milling head, we thought that that was in such a, mm. a good shape and I think those bearings have been changed at some point so I don't uh, the, the grease looks almost yes new. that looks new so I, I don't think we'll, we'll touch that anymore more um, what else well I think I think the parts uh, the condition of the parts look really good luckily mm. so yes yes Now we will start with uh, cleaning the the mill itself. Yes. And then uh, then we can start with uh, assembly. Hmm. Exciting. Yes. It was a quite smooth disassembly in the end. Yeah. Yeah. No no big difficulties really. Now you can tell that it's quality parts. Yeah. Even if it takes a long time and it's a lot of parts, as you can see, it's it's the disassembly was easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything came loose and it was it was made sense and with with logic. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't anything that was really really a big pain in the ass. Of course, some some small small challenges, but nothing. No, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing major. No, no. I think. Almost anyone could do it with the right tools. Yeah, I, I'd say so. I'd say so, absolutely. So if you have an old mill that you want to service or restore, uh, and if you have basic knowledge of mechanics and basic tools, I mean, uh, yeah. then, then it's no problem. Yeah, I'd say so too. Absolutely. Mm. Good. 